night. We good? Oh yeah. Okay, Harry. Now that we found the vehicle that you like, I'm gonna go ahead and get all your pricing and purchase options together on the sales menu. As I mentioned earlier, we're a market price dealership, so the numbers that we come out with are gonna truly reflect what this vehicle is selling for in today's market, and we'll supply you with a number of fully disclosed payment options to choose from. We're gonna make it simple and easy. Now, Harry, there's two ways we can figure your payment options. We can base it on your own individual credit or the store's average credit, which most of my customers prefer. Which would you prefer? Average. Average, great. So it's gonna take me about eight to 10 minutes. Can I get you a coffee or water before I go? No, thank you. Okay, hey, before I go, do me a favor, take a look at this brochure that further talks about the towing package. You had some questions on that. That's in this section right here. Again, it's gonna take me about eight to 10 minutes. Okay. Go to my boss, come back. Harry, great news. I've got all your pricing and purchase options right here on the sales menu. As you can see, there's a lot of information and several options to go through. I'd like to present it to you if you can hold your questions until I finish. May I begin? Yes. I want to make sure I've got your name and address correct? Correct. We're talking about the new 2018 Volkswagen Tiguan, the 13 miles on it, the orange one that we drove. Yep. Okay. Here's your vehicle price. Minus the market discount is our market price. Minus your trade-in is a difference. With your payout tax and fees, here's your total. Now there's three ways you can purchase a new vehicle. You want to write me a check for it, give me this amount right here. The second option is financing. We calculated payments for these amounts down on these terms. Now here, remember these are based on average credit. Yours could be higher or lower based on your own credit. Okay. And then the final option most of my happiest customers choose is a leasing option. Again, we calculated payments of these amounts down on these terms. Now Harry, before I ask you to choose which option works best for you, do you have any questions? No. Trade and payment. Oh, trade and payment. <laughs> Harry, so I get it. First of all, on your trade in, I understand because whenever I'm buying a car, that's the most important thing to me too. Now, other than your trade, you mentioned the payments. Is there anything else keeping us moving forward today? Mm. No? Okay. No. Which one should we talk about first, the trade or the payment? Uh, the trade in. Okay. Harry, why do you feel this isn't the right amount for your trade in? Uh, I think my car is worth more than that. Did you do some research to back that up? Yes, I checked it out on Kelly's Blue Book. Awesome. Because we look at Kelly, we also look at NADA, as well as the latest Mannheim Auto Watch for results. We do a lot of research to make sure you're getting top dollar for your trade in. But quick question, is the real reason you'd like more for your trade it might help lower your payments? Mm, no. Okay. Do you mind if I take a look at this for a minute? Yes. Do you recall when you and my used car manager, Scott, went out and looked at your um, 2014 Chevy Cruze? Yes. I didn't have a chance to participate in that, so I had to review these notes here, but I think I understand better. So Scott made some notes on here, Harry. He wrote down tires. What's going on with the tires? Uh, it's a little worn. Okay, and Kelly Blue Book does say to be in good condition, all four tires must match and not need replacing. So that's probably part of that. Windshield, how about what's up with that? Uh, it's a little, I'll crack on the corner. Okay, did you want to call your insurance for that one? No. It's better to stay away from them. Um, oil leak? I think so. Maybe smell some burning smell oil? Smell some burning oil. And then body repair, what happened there? Uh, left quarter panel. Okay, looks like it's not too bad, 500 bucks, pretty small. And then inspection, because your car is just over 78,000 miles. Kelly Blue Book does say any vehicle out of warranty that the dealer will have to run through the shop and check it out. So Harry, listen, probably part of the reason that you didn't fix the tires, the windshield, the oil leak, or the dent, you're ready to trade this car off, I get it. But the difference is we're gonna have to fix these items. So Harry, if you do some math here quick, it's a little over two grand. So if you come up here, this is the amount for your trade-in as it is before we touch it. But after we fix all those items, we're actually gonna own the car for almost nine grand. I mean, you're hoping to get eight, we're gonna own it for almost nine. So now you can see we're actually being really fair in your trade-in. Which one of these down payments works best for you? Uh, they're a little too high. Okay, how close to this two can you come? Uh, I'd say about 1,000 to 1,500. 1,000 to 1,500, awesome. And then which one of these monthly payments is closest to your budget? It's also too high. Okay, how close to this 550 could you come, do you think? i say 450 to 475. 450 up to 475 max. Got any more room there, 490 maybe, or is 475 to 475 is my max. Okay, I appreciate it. So if I hear you correctly, with 1,000 to $1,500 down, and a monthly payment of 450 to 475, you'll take the new Tiguan home today, is that right? Correct. I'm gonna get your autograph here. 
Perfect. I'm just going to stand up. I'm going to review this for a minute, make sure I understand everything. Hey, Harry, I couldn't help but notice. Just sit back down. I don't want to be that guy that runs back and forth with the sales manager like you've seen on TV. Harry, you were saying you wanted to put 1000 to 1500 down and be in the mid to high fours. Yeah. But if you look here with 4000 down, we're still in the mid fives. It's a little bit of a stretch. But I got some ways I can help. Is there any way you can put some more money down and get a credit card maybe? No. Hey, that's a lot of money I get. Now how about the leasing option? It looks like we can actually go lower for no. the lease. Can we talk? No? Definitely right, we'll no lease. Now. now, you did choose a brand new 2018. If we would consider a gently used 2017, I've got one on my lot with about 12,800 miles on it, certified pre-owned, it's red. We can save you a couple thousand bucks that way. No, no thank you. I like new cars also. Yeah. And then finally, we haven't even checked your credit yet, maybe stretch the term a little bit. So I'm gonna ask you to fill out this credit application. Okay. All right, awesome. I'm gonna take all this up to Scott. I'm gonna tell him everything you told me. And if I can't get to what you said, I'll bring back the best that I can. Wish me luck. Good luck. Go to Scott, come back. Harry, great news. This worked out way better than I thought. Your credit was awesome. Which one of these works best for you? 471. Circle, circle, sign, congratulations. Now, here's what's gonna happen next. I'm gonna go up and tell Scott what you've agreed to. He's gonna save it in the computer that'll push it over to our business manager, Gina. She's a really nice lady. When I return, I'm gonna come back with Gina. She handles all the paperwork and everything for the bank. She's gonna ask you a few questions to make sure there's no mistakes on your paperwork. While you're talking to her, I'll take the vehicle back to get gassed and washed. When I come back, she's gonna type your paperwork. I'm gonna take you for a tour of the facility. We're gonna schedule your first oil change. After that, our business manager should be ready to sign your paperwork. If not, I'll help you clean out your trade-in and we'll maybe go through the owner's manual. Then once you're done signing everything, your new car should be sitting right here in our delivery bay. We'll go through it one last time. We'll get you sent on your way today. So I'm gonna go up and talk to Scott and I'll be back with Gina. And again, congratulations. Thank you.